How you doing everyone? Hey, welcome back to my channel. And let me tell you something, I have a treat for you. I need you to hang out because I, man, I'll tell you what, I am jacked with my new idea. Uh, but hey, look, I wanna say thank you. Look at that, 435 subs. Are you kidding me? Unsolicited, unpaid for. All it is, is me talking into this microphone telling my story, showing you my motivation, building my empire, hoping that somebody out there, you, yes, you, somebody out there learns a little bit, just a little bit from my experience to build that financial education you need so you can build your empire. Yeah, that's how I think around here, okay? To me, the covered call strategy is not your your uh, your grandpa's old conservative strategy. To me, I treat it like a game. It's a game within the game. I love it. I love it because it's successful. I've had successful trades time and time again. And for me, I'm passionate about it. And and I want to share that. And I share that through this YouTube video. I don't charge you nothing. Okay, I don't ask you to do anything, but just listen and get a little morsel of information. And if that can help you get closer to where you want to be in life, then that makes me happy. Okay, so I need you to bang that like button. I need you to tell me you like what I'm doing. It's right there. Come on. And hey, look, share this video. Let others know we're out here uh, looking to help. We're looking to help that cat that's trying to make ends meet. He's got a couple bucks. He don't know what to do. Maybe the covered call strategy is for him. Hey, look, let's get right into it. I got at least four things I want to talk about. But hey, you know, I had a wonderful time. I traveled to Arizona and I thought, I thought of you guys in the community constantly. I, I had ideas for, for, I wanted to talk about a Whirlpool trade. I wanted to talk about uh, this exit strategy, that exit strategy. But Basically, what I came up with was, I said, hey, look, the absolute number one thing I want you to take away from this channel is that I want to try to provide a free service, a free service, um, or a free portal, a free portal where we can go and have free resources, right, to build our financial education. And if you feel like you have to pay somebody, right? If you have to pay somebody to maybe give you that edge, then hey, at least you you checked all the free resources first and you made that decision with education, right? And 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 it empowered you. So so what I've done is I'm coming up with a uh with a plan. Uh I'm going to talk about that here in a minute. And let's jump right to it right here and then I'll come back to that other slide. You know, I am developing a free portal, okay? It's going to be a free website, free website. It's going to break down the covered call strategy in easy to follow, super easy to follow uh, categories, right? And everything there is going to be a resource to jump from, jump to a YouTube video, jump to an article, maybe a website or a book, all free, all free. And it's going to be broken down into those little segments by me and some trusted friends. We're going to make sure that the training is in a structured way where we're not all over the place. Hey, let's face it. I do a lot of videos. And if you go to my YouTube channel, it's, it's everywhere because I like to talk a lot, of, a lot of things. I'm trying to put together playlists that really break things down, you know, to, to get you closer to, to maybe a very structured deal. Okay, but this free website, okay, is going to be very structured, all right, and, and it's going to be all free, and that's the idea, you know, um, hey, not to criticize the folks out there making a buck, okay, they put in hard work, they put in hard work to, to uh, build uh, the empire that they're building, okay, and they have a lot of great information, but, but my... You know, my take on this is before we step out and pay, you know, big bucks, man, 50, 60, 70 dollars a month, you know, let's make sure we've done our research, 
right? We've done our free research. Let's get as much information. So when we do buy those services, we enter the game ready to go, right? I, I bought a service. I told you I felt overwhelmed. The information was so, now looking back at it, the information is perfect, okay? But the reality was I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, man. I didn't have my exit strategies. I wasn't prepared mentally, Right? Because I was one of those cats that was afraid of, oh, what happens if my shares are taken away? Oh, fearful. Oh, hey, those are real, real fears of most covered call newbies. It, it just is. It just is. Okay. What I want to do is have that free resource there. So you can go through, you know, oh, you know, I really want to learn uh, maybe an extra strategy here on what happens if I want to buy back my option. Well, that'll be a very specific area on my free portal. Okay, that's coming. And hey, look, with my covered call uh, car session video, I hope you like those because love talking about very specific situations and maybe you learn something from it. Try to keep those videos around five minutes. Hope you learn something from it. And hey, look, I am going to come up with a straight talk series. That straight talk series is going to be your basic. Yeah, you can go to YouTube and get beginner series on, on anything. And, and you can get a million videos on covered calls and the beginners of options, this, that, and the other. But, but, but what I want to do is, is have a nice little uh, bookend uh, series of straight talk, uh, beginner series, and, and be able to give that away. Just give that away and say, look, here's the deal, okay? Um, through my experiences, here's this, this little uh, uh, a DVD or whatever it is. Take this. Start your financial education here. And then when you get done with that, then, you know, the doors open up for you, right? Now the doors are open, right? Now you can go and get your financial education. You can really uh, now look into the uh, getting into getting to some experience, right? We talked about all that kind of stuff. But I want to have sort of the building blocks, the foundation of our financial education. And uh, again, uh, it's called. A, it's going to be called the Straight Talk Series Beginning Courses. I'm going to offer that up for free. Hey, look, it is all about making uh, this process, this process, as comfortable as possible, as cheap as possible. Okay, nothing against those that are charging, but uh, boy, before we do that, before we buy the software, before we buy the services, uh, let's have uh, sort of a foundation. Uh, right, and then when we go to those folks, we we definitely have our education and our expectations are 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 within reach. Our expectations are right there, right? Let's let's talk a little bit about, you know, just I I'm gonna embarrass Cindy here. I get feedback like this all the time, and I am absolutely blessed that that I'm able to tell my story, share it with you, and you cats are enjoying it. Okay, I, I do appreciate all the feedback. When you say things like this, I become a loyal follower. Did I ever think I was going to have followers? No. Did I ever think I'd have five, a close to 500 subscribers? No. Okay. Ultimately, ultimately what I'm doing is I'm telling my story and I want to be able to tell my story on a bigger, bigger picture, bigger, bigger uh, scale. I want to be able to do seminars. Teach people how to empower themselves and motivate people. And right now, I do covered calls because I have success. Okay? I, look, I'm not going to be a pretender. Okay? I'm not going to be a pretender and, and tell you about my swing trades and feel confident. No. I am confident in the covered call strategy. I am having success. I am having win after win. And that's why I share it. Because I am like you. I'm passionate about this, right? And I want others to uh, hear my story. So I'm glad you give me the feedback. I really do enjoy it. Man, I try to answer all your comments. And, and again, tell me you like what I'm doing. I love it. Hey, I'm human. I'm just like you guys. All right. So uh, again, look for that portal. Might even uh, talk about it tomorrow. And uh, again, the theme is let's learn and let's keep it cheap in the beginning. Okay? Um, Hey, let's talk about my number one reason people fail. People fail at the cover call strategy. Um, uh, you know, 
you know, here's the deal. My number, my very first failure in the covered call strategy was I did the classic. Um, I'll use Nike as an example, but I've talked about this before. Gilead and Lily absolutely, you know, ran over me with, like a train. Okay. I wasn't prepared, didn't have my exit strategies. I didn't. And I'll just use Nike here as an example. You know, sold the call down here. Oh, I can make the extra premium and did. And then the stock turns around and heads higher. Got above my strike price, thinking my shares are going to be taken away. News is out. They're going 20 points higher. I had, my emotions were not in check. I bought the option back here, paid premium. I added to my cost basis by doing that. And then did not sell the shares. And what happened? Yeah, it came back down, right? I'm holding the bag. And I, I did not sell my shares. So all that premium I bought back. Let's say right here I got paid a dollar. And I bought it back for $3 here. Thinking it's going to the moon. No. That, that $2 difference right there goes to my bottom line. So if I had a cost basis of $60 before this, I now have a cost basis of $62. Should have sold the shares. I didn't. Now, in the case of Lily and Gilead, we're talking down here. Okay? And now I'm holding the bag. Now I feel paralyzed, frozen, not sure what to do. Okay? So, so... It's one of those deals where that was my first failure. Did not have my exit strategies. The bigger picture is I didn't have my exit strategies in place. Okay. Nike. Now, it's funny because let's fast forward now. Almost a year. Let's fast forward. I find myself in the same situation with Nike a little bit. Nike, again, is not in this instance running away. There's no, new, there's no news that it's going from 56 to 60 and 70. But it is the classic tale where I bought the stock, wrote the calls, okay, and did not sell the shares when I should have. So for me, now, now I own Nike and I've told you, I'm going to write weeklies on it or buy weeklies. Love it. I can get paid 70 and 80 cents. I'm going to play Nike here. Okay, so I'm not considering this a loss by any means. It's a green trade. But my execution on this was bad. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. I'm going to write calls on Nike. But, but to me, the ex looking at this in hindsight, the execution was poor. I went ahead and uh, probably bought Nike right here. Okay? Bought Nike here. Wrote that 56 little bit out of the money. Okay? Out of the money. Okay? And I got the premium. Life's good. I'm executing my plan. Nike is... Eh, well, I think I may have done it back here, I'll be honest with you, okay? And it went up. I'm thinking, oh, wow, I'm just going to let my Nike shares go. Then it fell down. Then I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll let it. It'll probably hover here. Okay, that's mistake number one. I, well, long story short, um, uh, it did not finish above 56. On expiration Friday, I put in a one penny buyback just so I can relieve my obligation, paid the penny. It was like four bucks, I, whatever. I have taken that risk off the table. I should have sold my shares because what happens is I pick up Nike when it falls. Do you remember Nike when it fell after earnings? Okay, that's where I pick up Nike at 53X. I got a video on that, okay? Then I write the call up here, wrote like a nice 56. So, so this is why I don't feel like this is a failed trade because I still have money in the, in, I still have profit in the stock, but it is a classic situation where I bought the stock, wrote the call as it's coming down. It is at my strike price, did not buy it back for a penny and sell the shares and immediately realize the gain. And what has happened since then? You know, Nike was up here well above 56. What happens is it starts to fall back. And now I go from having 56X in profit. Now it's almost down to 55. So if I have 500 shares, that's 500 bucks. I as I was calculating my three-month totals that I've shown you, cats, I actually calculated Nike being sold at 56. Now that's not a... That's not a part of what I showed you, 
Okay, I show you uh, real money, real uh, executed trades. But as I was calculating my monthlies, man, I actually said, wow, if I sold Nike at 56, I get this, I go from here to there. And boy, I was like, this is unbelievable. Yeah, red flag number one. I was counting my chickens before they hatched. So, so what is the number one failure? Number one failure here is I did not execute. Did not execute on my plan. I bought it at 53x. Wrote that 56 out of the money. When it got above the money, I wanted 56. As it danced around 56 and started to move down, I bought back the option for like a penny. I should have sold the shares. What has happened since then? It has fallen from 56 down to almost 55, leaving money on the table. Okay, so I want you folks to have a plan, execute the plan. Okay, execute the plan. You know, you're going to learn, you're going to learn in this process that, that, you know, because this is a short, sort of a, sort of a short strategy, right? Where we limit our upside. We need to take profits when we get them and then reassess the situation. It's cash on cash profits, right? So I had like whatever that was, uh, in percentage gain. I had it, didn't take it. Guess what? I don't have it no more. So now I go into the new week. I'm going to have a new strategy for Nike. And you could bet I'm going to execute on the plan. Hey, look, I hope, I hope you learn something. I, I really do. Because, you know, one of the biggest failures of covered call writers, newbie covered call writers, is once the stock goes above your strike price, you know, you might buy the option back thinking it's going to go higher. Remember, you added to your cost basis, man, you need to sell the shares and or write another option further out of the money, trying to capture that profit at cost back. Okay, you have to have an exit strategy, folks, you just have to get your financial education. Okay, um, so my failure is not executing on this plan. When it was a 56, I should have sold it. Hey, look, I am going to finish the video there. I hope you learn something. I hope you take something away from that. But before I go, um, really, you know, it's, it's funny how, it's funny how I get to thinking, man. And, and for me, the covered call strategy is nothing more than just buying great rental properties. And I rent them out every month and I create that monthly income. Okay, I've done a video on it. I'm highlighting it right here. I really, really want you, if you're interested, watch that video. Okay, the reason I'm telling you to watch that video is because a lot of what I've talked about is the covered call millionaire mindset. Okay, it's a mindset. You got to be motivated. You got to be jacked. Okay, I take this as a strategy. Okay, a game within the game. I'm not the cat that writes the covered call. I wait to expiration, see what happens. Man, I love to buy back profits. I like to write, you know, different strikes. It, to me, it, 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 in fact, I even mentioned this. Um, I have a covered call swing trade mentality where I will buy a stock, hoping it goes a little bit higher, right? Collect a little profit from the move, write the covered call, almost like a swing trade. So, so you have to have, for me, uh, I have to have that, that mentality. I got to be jacked and that's what I do. I love it. But I also love the fact, you know, that, that to me, covered call writing is the poor man's real estate. And I watched something this weekend. I was in Arizona, I told you, and there, I just happened to be watching something. Uh, we got back from some golf and my boy and I were getting some, uh, uh, we were just getting some rest while we waited for uh, my wife and the other son to meet up. And uh, there was this uh, infomercial on real estate and how to flip properties and this, that, and the other. And man, I just sat there the whole time saying, you know, hey, and this, this is not to diss anybody that does real estate. But man, when you risk that capital, you leverage yourself. Man, and, and here in California, you're leveraging yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars, Right. You know, and to me, it's it, it covered call writing is like buying little mini properties, but instead they're companies, you know, and, and they're great companies, you know, great S&P type companies they ain't going nowhere. 
and I feel like I could buy them? Write the calls, make the monthly income. And to me, I'm building my empire of real estate through my vision of covered call writing. It is my cash printing machine. Every time I write a covered call, I feel like I'm printing money. I'm just printing money. When do I want to fire up the cash printing machine? Oh, okay. Boom. I buy this great S&P Type 5 country. I go ahead, write an out-of-the-money strike. Boom. Just printing money. Okay? Now, how that plays out, of course, is how it plays out. Right? And it may not be just that easy, but in my mind, it is. It's the covered call millionaire mindset. I want you to watch this video because, look, at the end of the day, it's about a mindset, a positive mindset, covered call millionaire mindset. Hey, I hope you enjoyed my, this video, and I hope you bang that subscribe button. There it is. Hit that like button, man. Let people know. Let people know that you like this video. It tells me you like what I'm doing. And hey, look, if you leave a comment, you know I'm watching. And I love the comments. I love answering your questions too. And uh, hey, let other people know by sharing this video. Let them know we're out here. Because when I make the announcement that the free, free covered call portal is coming, okay, I want everybody to know. Because I want everybody to have the chance to be able to learn this strategy, have the success that I am so we can win time and time again, and have this strategy flow like water. Hey, look, again, I do appreciate you coming to the channel. I do appreciate you when you hit that like button, when you subscribe to my channel. And hey, until next time, I hope all your covered calls are profitable. All I see is signs. All I see is stuff.